everything started with a dream. With a dream to become an Olympic class. With a dream to become one of the fastest class on earth. Title for racing, the class and everyone wants to watch. Those who can see the invisible can do the impossible. My name is Hantos Villegas, and welcome back to the third leg of the Formula Cat Spain series here in the beautiful island of Palma de Mallorca. Well, well, welcome back to Formula Cat in Spain series 2020 here in the stunning island of Palma de Mallorca. We already have a lot of races, a lot of action, drama and high speed around the course. Let's look at the standings after the sixth race. Axel Marcella, the French rider, is dominating the event with only five points, followed by Denis Taradin with nine points. Marius Babel is in the third position with 24 points, followed by Jacob from Poland in fourth place. Carlos Alejandro and Theo Lostis, they are tied with 28 points. Everything could happen here in Formula K in Spain series. Simon Berner is in 8th position with 30 points. Julia Damasevich is in 9th place with 38. Kiko Pedro is in 10th position with 42 points. Gisela Pulido, the Spain idol, is in 2nd place for the women's fleet, followed by the Russian rider Sofia Kotlar in 3rd. Great weather here on the island. I am very impressed. This is an incredible place. 23 Celsius degrees, 7 to 10 knots on the course. The wind holding his direction from southwest. It has been an incredible day so far here in the island in Palma de Mallorca. The course, nine minutes target time. The riders need to go to the top. Then going back to the gate to decide which direction they want to go going back to the top mark, then full speed towards the bottom and the final stretch towards the finish line. For elements skyboarding, the best capital school in Mexico. Thanks for making this transmission possible. The format, we have 10 races scheduled on this event, three minutes countdown sequence for each race. The scoring system, and the place you cross the finish line is the same amount of points you get. They have only won this card, so they can only throw away the worst score out of their races. So the rider with the least amount of points after the last race, is the champion. We have less than 25 seconds from the start. We have multiple riders on the head cam for this race. Also, we have the timeline, their representation of the course in the bottom of the screen. We have Axel, Dennis, Teo, Carlos, Kiko, Alejandro, Julia, Gisela, Simon, and Sofia Kotlar. And here we go, Formula Guide the Spain Series, 7th race, and everyone here on the starting line, and Alejandro again with another four tag, he's gonna try to cross the entire fleet, and he's doing it, he got fairly clear up from Axel Marcella, impressive start, that was incredible, risking the entire race, but he made it all the way to the other side of the fleet. Did he start a deal with a very good start, no one in front of him, and he's gaining more speed. He's going faster and faster. Axel Masella is right there next to Simon. Looks like he cannot go a little bit faster. Simon is right there. Teo Lost is also with a good start. This is an incredible show. We can see the technique that Lost is putting out there. It's very amazing. Look at the fight that Axel has with Simon. I'm telling you, Axel cannot interfere with Simon's way. We can see that he's barely, barely keeping his guy in front of Simon. And he finally, he finally is clear from Simon. And here we go. We can see the difference and the speed that Axel is getting right now. But Dennis Tadadin already went a little bit far on the left hand side of the course. And here we go. He's the first one to tag and Axel Marcella tagging right in the same moment that Dennis Tadadin. This is an incredible start. We're gonna find out if Alejandro had a good strategy having that port 
start on the beginning of a race. We can see that he's already going on the starboard tag, and we can see also a orange guy, probably that's Yula de Masovic approaching as well. Let me explain you why Alejandro reached the entire race because all of the fleet is coming on the starboard, and if something goes wrong, either he gets tangled with the entire fleet or he is gonna get into a protest with someone. That's the reason doing a port start he represents a huge risk for the riders but also in your score. Dennis Tarading is approaching to the lane line. We can see Alejandro is already coming on the starboard and he's getting front in front of Axel Marcella. Incredible! Dennis Tarading tacking and we can see that Alejandro, he made it! Now he's leading the fleet right now. Incredible! I'm telling you, Alejandro is back. Alejandro already warm up. He's doing it with an incredible start and now he's going to first place around the top mark on the first lap. Incredible! Axel Marcella not far from then, and this is a great fight and Dennis is gonna get with Alejandro Clement. This is getting very exciting. This is incredible. Dennis is looking around. We can see how Dennis is a little bit leeward from Alejandro and Alejandro is going from the outside. We're gonna find out who's gonna be the first one to jive and who's gonna be the first one to find the lane line. Axel Marcella is right there next to them. We can see that Denis Tanadini is getting a little bit better angle. And here we go. Alejandro is the first one to jive. Very great job under control. And Denis one second behind him. This is incredible. Let's look at the leaderboard. Denis Tanadini in first, Alejandro in second, Axel Marcella in third. Jacob from 4th, Sebastian and Pip, Teo in 6th, Gisela Pulido in 7th place in front of Julia Damasevich in 8th. Very exciting! Axel Marcella is already on board tag towards the gate on the bottom of the course. Very great race and looks like Axel Marcella is getting a little bit more speed. Yes, he already passed Alejandro. This is incredible. I'm telling you, this is a great fight. This is what I'm talking about. The fastest class right here in Formula K, the Spain Series, Palma de Mallorca. Denis Taradin going around the gate in first place, followed by Axel Marcella. Alejandro now, he's in third place. He lost those two places, but it's okay. It's all right. He's having a great race. He did an incredible job in the beginning of a race. We're going to see who is going to attack first, who is going to find the lane line first, or maybe Alejandro is going to decide to go on the left hand side of the course. Right now, the three of them, pretty much the majority of the fleet is deciding to go on the right-hand side, of course. We can see Julia Damasovic also, she's going to the right-hand side. Denis Taradin is looking around. We can see on the timeline, the three of them, they are very close. Axel Marcella is not far from him. Looks like Axel Marcella is able to gain a little bit more angle. We can see Dennis is leeward right now from Axel. And here we go, Dennis tacking and Axel Marcella no wasting time. He's tacking pretty much at the same time. Who, oh, my friend, Alejandro as well. He's a little bit behind, but he's doing great. Very good job from Alejandro. Let's keep an eye on the little board. Denis Taradin in first, Axel Marcel in second, Alejandro in third, Jacob in fourth, Teo in fifth, Sebastian in sixth, Julia now is in front of Gisela in seventh place, Gisela in eighth, Simon in ninth, and Kiko in tenth. Very exciting race. Look at that great shot from Axel's head cam. We can see the difference and the speed that he's getting. He's right there next to Denis Taradin. Whoa, what an incredible race. This is a lot of action. Dennis Tanadin is looking around, looks like he made it to the lane and he has that mark on his eyes and he's shooting for it. We can see that Axel Marcella is getting a little bit closer to Dennis. This is going to be very interesting towards the end of the race and Dennis Tanadin is the one going around the top mark on first place about to complete the second lap. Axel Marcella is right next to him. Hopefully Dennis is not gonna get anything on his ball this time. Hopefully they are gonna have a part 
race until the end. Alejandro is now going around the top mark. Dennis Tarantin, we're gonna find out who's gonna be the first one to do the last type of a race. Oh man, this is incredible. And let me, let me remind you, we have only seven to 10 knots and those guys are going very fast out there on the water. Incredible shot from the ball. We can see that Axel Marcella is getting a little bit better angle. Dennis Tanadine somehow is able to go a little bit farther the outside of the course. And here we go. Axel Marcella is throwing the jab before and Dennis and Dennis one second behind him. Whoa, what incredible shot. We're gonna see who's gonna get first to the last mark on the bottom of the course. Dennis Tanadine is in front of Axel. He's getting a little bit more speed. Oh, he almost getting out of control. This is what I'm talking about. You want to be very precise on that fall. You want to have full control on it. They're approaching to the last mark. Look at that great shot. That great speed. The two of them they have right now. Whoa, look at that. Dennis that thing. Creating that gap on the water with the foil, incredible. Axel Marcella, he's gonna go for it. Dennis, he's the work from Axel. Axel, he's dropping the angle. He's getting more speed. Who's gonna cross the finish line? Whoa, Dennis did it. Dennis got his second bullet of the event of Formula Cadiz Spain Series, Palma Mallorca. Axel Marcella in second place. What a race, my friend. Incredible performance. Dennis delivering everything on the water. What a race. Alejandro Clement, he's approaching to the last mark. Looks like he's pumping. Yes, he's dropping the speed. And he has some issues with the kite. And here we go. He's about to get back on the foil. And now he's foiling, reaching that good speed. Theo lost his is behind him. And Simon and Alejandro knows that they are getting closer to him. He lost a lot of time around that last mark at the bottom of the course. Theo lost his, he's coming on fifth place. And Jacob from Poland is behind Alejandro. He's about to cross the finish line on fourth place. What a race, incredible job from Alejandro anyway. He got on third place, but that was a fantastic start crossing the entire fleet on four tag. So brave, incredible. The star from Alejandro. Julia Damasevich also, she's bumping. And this is the thing, if you miss the lane line, if you don't have that lane line properly, you're not gonna make it to the mark. You're gonna be either struggling to make it or you have to turn again to get back with a better angle and more speed. Julia Damasevich looks like she's gonna get in front of Gisela and she's gonna get the next bullet for the women's fleet. Incredible shot from the ball. We can see Julia Damasevich arriving, crossing the finish line, and she did it. She got the next bullet for the event, getting the next bullet for the women's fleet. Incredible race. Axel Marcella, the French rider, crossing the finish line in second. He is still leading the fleet with seven points, followed by the Russian rider with 10 points. Alejandro Clement, guess what? He made it to the third position, finally. He is delivering great performance with 31 points. He's tied with Jacob from Poland. Incredible, he is back. Marius Pavel, he's in fifth position with 32 points, followed by Tel Lostis, the showman from Tahiti with 33 points. Simon Berner is in seventh place with 36 points. Carlos Puch, unfortunately, he didn't have the best race. He's in eighth position with 43 points. Julia Damasevich, very consistent around the course. She's in ninth position instead of the top 10 and leading the fleet for the women's. Gisela Pulido, the Spain idol, is in second place, and Sofia Kotler, the Russian rider, in third place. For Element Skyboarding, the best skyboarding school in Mexico. Thanks for making this transmission possible. This is Formula Kite Spain Series 2020, seventh race. My name is Hantos Villegas. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next race.